Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. Oh, actually, probably good evening, as this goes live at seven o'clock. Regardless of what time you're watching this video, welcome to Supercars of London and this new YouTube series um, of first impressions that I've suddenly decided to create when I drove the Lamborghini LP560 and Aston Martin DBS from Supercar Experiences. And Watford Audi were kind enough to lend me their S3 saloon 2014. And um, as you can see behind me, I have got a huge, it's actually very small, little pocket rocket from um, Audi. It's got 230 brake horsepower. And uh, again, Watford Audi are lucky enough or kind enough to lend me this fantastic little So rocket. this is a 2014, as you can see by the number plate, 64 plate, Audi S1 Sportback, which means that it's got the four doors rather than the um, sleeker two door. However, I think this might look a lot cooler. And this video is going to just show you my first impressions of what it's like to drive this car. Not so much the technical details, purely because you can Google that if you want to find out lots of details about this car, because there's uh, the specialists out there that do the research. I'm here to drive it and tell you guys what I think about the car and what it's like to drive from a first person perspective. So I'm going to be just testing it on terms of speed and everything like that. But as well, we're going to be filming today a, um, a comparison test between this car and the Audi R8, which is going to be going live in April during my Living With A Supercar YouTube series, which I'm really excited about. It's the 12th month anniversary of me owning the car, and it's going to be interesting to pitch this car on everyday stuff against the Audi R8. So that's going to be coming in April. But today, we're going to be just talking about the first impressions and point of view stuff of this fantastic little good looking Audi. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this, I think, is Sepang Blue, which is what the Audi R8 V10 was originally launched in. And these headlights are very, very aggressive. And the whole front end in this matte grey finish is quite nice, but I think I'll probably just dechrome it and make it all black, make it look even more aggressive. I think these are 18-inch wheels, not entirely sure, but they look great with the red calipers, with the S1 branding all down the uh, side. We've got the silver stainless steel wing mirrors, which look nice. Inside we've got red stitching, which um, coincidentally matches my shirt. Um, and we've got the five doors, and we've got the uh, optional spoiler, which I think is like a split spoiler. Not entirely too sure, but the back is probably one of my favorite parts of the Audi S1. We've got four exhaust tailpipes, which make the car look really aggressive. And this diffuser on a hatchback is just something that probably BMW and Mercedes didn't think of and the S1 to me is my favorite car in terms of the tiny little um, hot hatches. Let's try and sort out. How do you turn off? Ah! No. <laughs> How do you turn this off? We haven't even got going yet. And this is already confusing me. There we go. We're off. Immediately when you sit down in this car, I've just jumped out of my Audi R8, driven two miles to get here. The first thing that I did that I didn't have on camera was that I was searching for the gear stick about here, which is where my um, gear lever would sit in the Audi R8. However, it's a couple, well, probably about a foot from here down to the gear lever. So it's, it, that's probably the first big difference in this car. You're also sitting quite high, you get a nice view of the interior and there's quite a lot of visibility around because there's lots of windows, an extra window because this is the Sportback. And then as you pull away, the, the clutch is quite high in this I've, compared to my car. And you move away and it's an, it's an S1. So it's, an, it's just a very, very fast A1. It's not, I mean, it does feel special. There's, don't get me wrong, it's because it's an Audi and the way that it's put together, it is a very, very special car. The materials that are in this interior are um, very luxurious as you'd expect from a 30 grand A1, but the real sort of punch comes when you've got a two litre um, turbocharged 228 brake horsepower engine because the camera is going to not be able to have it. <laughs> And it's just laughable. The amount of power that you have in this tiny little hatchback is honestly laughable. 
And I don't know what speed we got up to there. The speed limit says 30 or there. So I think we got to about 31. So it is quick from zero to 31. It's, it's fast and you could just, this car must be so much fun. I haven't even driven this like five miles yet, but the handling feels relatively nimble going round roundabouts there. And it's just got a lot of punch and the turbo's kicking and you're just building up power. And I actually didn't know that this car was turbocharged, so sorry, Audi and Watford Audi, but I didn't know this car was turbocharged. So when I put my foot down and then all of a sudden bang and your neck breaks, I was like, whoa, this must be turbocharged, but it hasn't got a um, turbocharged reader like it did on the Audi S3 that I probably filmed really poorly when I had the Audi S3. And this car's also Quattro system, so it has got uh, probably a derived version of what the Audi R8 has. I'm not sure whether it's 70 to the rear and 30 to the front, but you do have a button down there that says traction control off. So it'd be really interesting. We've got a really nice day actually. It's quite warm and sunny outside, but that means that the roads are dry and I, th I can imagine this car with a damp road and cold tyres with the traction control off might be a little bit of a handful as well but we're not going to test that because this isn't my car and I don't want to end up in a bush and we've got an underpass here and there's drive select and I'm going to put it into dynamic and put the windows down and then we're going to go X5M power had no chance. Feels as fast as the Audi S3 saloon that I had as well. And it just, if it had paddles, I would want one and then I'd wrap it in like some crazy color that I've never seen before and then have the coolest Audi S1 on the road. You don't see many of these cars. I think it is probably because of the price, but you really have to drive it to understand what this car's all about and why it is the price that it is because price point of 30 grand or whatever plus options you can probably get this car up to like 35 grand or whatever and there's an A class as well a rival it's an A200 so I'd win but down here in the centre console you've got CD player you've got SD cards you've got Bluetooth you've got drive select I'm essentially just reading the buttons I can see the drive select quite interesting I'd like to explore that dynamic efficiency won't be using that one. And auto, but it doesn't mean automatic gear change, which I would love. Traction control, parking sensors, heated seats and everything like that. Manual gear lever. This car is actually really nice. I've never even been in an Audi A1, but they were really cool. I thought that they looked really good and what they were trying to create, the sort of the, the upmarket Renault Clio sort of um, competitor, if you like. This just wipes the floor with any sort of French, Japanese, Italian car. But I don't know why I'm saying that, because I haven't actually driven the other cars or even been in them. So I've just driven this car. This is, I suppose, what the whole first impressions is supposed to be about, is learning about all of the other cars. And as I've only driven this one, this one's the best. And we're going. Go, go, go. Good gear change. 60. Impressions up Day. we've spent the last two hours or so filming for this usability test against the Audi R8 which is going to be coming in April like I've mentioned already this car is a lot of fun the speed that you can have with this car is, is of course it's manageable it's 230 228 brake horsepower and uh, we've just been to the shops it's relatively easy the one thing that I was surprised about was the size of the boot now I can't actually show you much footage or any footage <laughs> but I think that's because this car is actually tiny tiny and I didn't know what to expect but I mean even in fifth gear now I put my foot down the turbo sport pulls up and you do get a bit of grunt which is fantastic I mean 
it's going to be great on the motorway if you're cruising along and you realise you've got to make a quick overtake or you want to make a quick overtake and it just sort of eats up the tarmac in front of you and like I just wasn't expecting it from this tiny little hatchback the handling's fantastic with the traction on the roads are dry the tyres are warm and like once the turbos kick in it just wants to go in every gear I mean, it's sixth gear now and it's just <laughs> accelerating like <laughs> My Vox Astra was a 1.6, it was a 2007, so the technology and the power wasn't there, but that felt fast, but it did sort of die off towards the higher end of the revs and the higher end of the um, gears when you were cruising on the motorway, and it only had five gears. This in sixth gear is 60 miles an hour, and you put your foot down, those turbos want to go, you're at 70 in no time, which is lucky because that is the speed limit of this road. So there we have it, back down at Watford Audi to pass on the Audi S1 back to, um, well, Watford Audi. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just talking about the first impressions of what it's like to drive with because it is a really interesting car. It's a tiny little hot hatch, there's not much space in it whatsoever but it's just so fast and a lot of fun um, to just play around with and I've just realised that the sun is um, not on a very good place. but. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like it, please like it. If you don't, um, then leave a dislike comment, I suppose. Oh no, dislike, thumbs down or whatever. But hopefully you like it. Uh, make sure that you comment on what you would um, spec this, whether you would have it in a red or a black or how you would want to um, customise your own Audi S1. And I look forward to seeing all of your comments and likes and everything like that. So um, hopefully soon as well, I'll be able to drive other cars, not just Audi. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and um, I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys.